have about two questions. I think one is more important than the other. So my question is, I would kind of like a rampage of appreciation of how the source feels about me. So that when I begin my meditations, I can kind of lock into that, into a knowing of who I am. We understand what you want, and we understand why you want it. And oh, we're going to give it to you. <laughs> but we want to talk about something that is at the basis of a rampage, and that is momentum. So you know how easy it would be for us because we've been standing in your vortex with all of the things that you've been asking for. And so there is a tremendous amount of momentum moving toward what you want that is known by us. In other words, since we have no resistance in our vibration relative to you or anything that is important to you, then that rampage, that easily ramped up, flowing conversation about who you are is very easy for us to accomplish, but not so easy for someone who is in their physical form maybe to ramp up because you do often have some resistance to your momentum. Momentum simply means activate a thought and then don't do that thing you do to resist it. So an activated thought might be, I want to be happy in my life. Now, if you just set forth a thought like that and you never did anything to contradict it, by the natural consequence of law of attraction, momentum would take place and you would be able to do your own rampages of appreciation. Little kids do it all the time. But when you contradict that thought, I want to live a happy life and it sure will be nice when that happens. Or I want to live a happy life and I know others who live happy lives, but I've never been one of them. We've been describing it as like you're a train on a flat track and your desire is like putting an engine on this end of the train and off it goes. And if you don't put any engines on the other end in opposition, that momentum will gather speed. So at the heart of a rampage is absence of resistance. So if someone like us or someone like your inner being who has utterly no resistance on your behalf were to rampage for you and by the way we're doing it all the time the question is why aren't you hearing it and the answer is because you've got other thoughts that you continue to think that's what beliefs are a belief is just a thought that you continue to think and do you know that you cannot find something that's lost you can't come to know something that is in opposition to a strong belief that you have. Isn't it apparent as you're watching things that are going on in your world today, the power of the momentum of beliefs? If somebody's on the other side of a belief, different than you hold, don't they just look incredibly unreasonable? Because they don't seem to even be wanting to hear the reasonable dialogue that you might be offering to them. And so it's easy for you to see it when you're talking about another person, but we want to talk about it when it's you, when it's you, the person who is contradicting your own desires with beliefs. And we get why you do that because beliefs are powerful and you know, beliefs are valid too. You know why beliefs are valid? Because you get what you believe. So if you believe something, which means it's a dominant thought within you, then law of attraction is supporting that belief. Not because there's this cosmic truth that you've tapped into, but because you've found a vibration and you're holding the vibration and law of attraction will keep demonstrating, not the truth, the vibration that you are presenting. Esther said to us in the beginning, arguing with us about something that we were encouraging her not to talk about. And she said, but it's true. And we said, there are more valid criteria than whether it's true or not. Because the reason it's true is because someone held it as their vibrational awareness or belief and law of attraction just kept supporting that belief. Because you get what you think about whether you want it or not.
So, when you ask us to give you a rampage of appreciation, we can do that. And we're going to do it really soon. <laughs> but before we do, we want you to acknowledge that someone else doing a rampage of appreciation for you might only call your attention to it for a minute that you've got to practice the beliefs that allow your own rampages to take place within you and we also want you to acknowledge that your inner being is always doing that and if you're not hearing it that means that you do have some beliefs that are contradicting it so we're going to start our rampage in a very you might say neutral not a contested place in a place where it is so general that it's easy for your beliefs to go along with it and then as we gather a little momentum with that then we can become more and more specific to the intentions that you hold all right so listen in because in some ways we're talking about you too and if you will just for a little bit this will be really helpful to all of you hold the analogy of the train did you get a picture of that so when you think about something you want you put an engine on that end of the train and off it goes if you think about it in more detail you put another engine in more detail you put another engine or something else you want you put another engine but when you contradict those desires with beliefs that are doubtful of those desires then you put an engine going the other way so if you've got an engine going that way and an engine going that way you're going nowhere nothing's changing for you and so of course the objective is to get more going that way and fewer going that way but it's kind of hard on you if you've just got strong engines pulling you while you're dragging other engines along the track it's so much better to release that resistance and just flow freely so Hold that analogy in mind as you listen to us begin these early stages of this rampage. We're going to speak it from your perspective, not from ours. Because you are the vibrational offerer of your vibration. And asking someone else to goose up your energy is not as productive as you goosing up your own so here we are speaking for you I like being here in this physical body this physical body is serving me well Clunk. I understand that I have come from broader perspective and in doing so I've come with reason and purpose I like the idea of having deliberately come into this physical body. I've heard, and it makes sense to me, that the larger part of me remained non-physical. And that that non-physical part of me is aware of me. And that I've come for expansion that is natural and for the fun of being physically focused. I get it that I'm a leading edge creator and I get it that this time space reality is about that and I'm appreciating the contrast that helps me specifically me to choose and I like the sense that as I get to choose that I'm backed up by non-physical awarenesses that support that I like the notion that I create my own reality and that I can be or do or have anything that I choose I can feel that I'm not here alone and I'm not just talking about the other physical people who are around me. I can feel a focus of non-physical energy flowing through me and at times I feel it so profoundly that I believe that I'm feeling the enthusiasm that they feel for my life as if it is not just my life but our life. It feels to me that I am a representative of source energy standing right here in this time and space and I like being that representative of source energy. I like getting to select from the things that are around me and getting to choose specifically about this time and space. I'm understanding more every day that this is what is at the basis of the evolution of all species. 
And I can feel that this is what puts the eternalness in eternity. I can feel that me here in this physical body, sifting and sorting through the variety that surrounds me and coming to my own personal conclusions about what would feel good for me, I can feel the power of the purpose in that. And I revel in knowing that I'm here to live just exactly that. That makes every piece of contrast that I live a wonderful thing because from that awareness of variety, I get to choose specifically what is important for me. And with each choice, whether I'm speaking it out loud or whether it's an unconscious feeling somewhere in my body, I'm launching rockets of desires and I can feel the source energy is following those rockets of desires. And the reason that I know that source energy is following those rockets of desires is because I have a guidance system within me that lets me know when I'm going along with it and when I'm not. And I've come to know over time that whether I go along with the expansion of my own being moment by moment or not, my inner being takes every bit of expansion and stands as the symbol, as the being, as the vibrational basis of all that I have become. And it is exhilarating to me to know that that basis stands there beaming a constant signal toward me that I can tap into at any time. And I can feel the enthusiasm of that when I do tap into it. I can feel when I'm tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the energy that creates worlds that is flowing through me. I feel invincible at those times of alignment. And I feel worthiness beyond ability to speak in words. I now know that I am the creator of my own reality. And I'm so appreciative of everything that exists in this physical time and space that gives me the basis of my new clarity about what I want. I'm happy living out the days of my life in this physical body. And I feel such exhilaration at knowing that anything that this time and space even hints or shows me that I might like, it can deliver to me in full fashion. Because if this time space reality has given me the inspiration for the desire, it has the ability to give me, and I have the ability to translate it into the fullest physical form. I love the idea of turning thoughts to things. I get it that that's who I am, that that is what I was born to do. And so I revel in knowing that along with all of the other people on the planet, I get to turn thoughts to things, thoughts to things, thoughts to things, thoughts to things, thoughts to things. And there are so many ideas that I have within me that I am joyously watching turn to things. There is nothing in all of the universe that I enjoy more than to be in the sweet spot where I'm tuned in, tapped in, turned on, in perfect vibrational alignment to the source energy within me and flowing my attention toward those things. Nothing is more exhilarating to me than to have my valve wide open and the energy that creates worlds flowing through me. And I really, 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 really like demonstrating the results of that alignment. And I don't mind demonstrating results of that not alignment. Because understanding the laws of the universe as I do, I'm in complete control of everything that I am living. And I am happy about that. Now, we felt so good about all of that. <laughs> And maybe you could hear it. Esther translates our enthusiasm into volume quite often. <laughs> maybe you could feel it. But that is the rampage that we are offering to you and about you. We'd like that you are the creator of your own reality. So now what? Okay, so the last question. So um, we also want you to know that we know that you know everything that we just said. As we were offering that rampage, you were not offering contradiction about it. And the reason that you were not offering contradiction about it is because there was no contradiction within you about it. We were speaking in what you would call general enough terms that we didn't activate any belief in you that contradicted anything that we were saying. We didn't activate any belief in any of you that contradicted anything that we were saying. But if we were to get really specific, I want to create a million dollars and I'd like it this year all kinds of activation of all kinds of and so the key to momentum is to stay off the subjects that contradict the energy flow if we could convince you that that's all you need to do stay off the issues that activate resistance and your momentum will be such that anything that you want can come about easily 